students let us continue with the next topic in the computer programming is functions so this is one of the most important topic because every languages will be depends upon these functions so the main use of these functions is to make a program uh, that you can make it as a error free so let us see what is a function a function is a self contained block you call it as the this is a gen, uh, it is a self contained block that carries out of a specific well defined task out of out of a specific it is a, a function is a self contained block that carries out a that carries out a specific well defined task so it is always enclosed with enclosed by opening and closing parenthesis sorry braces so this the formal definition of function function is a self contained block that carries out a specific well defined task so it is enclosed in the parenthesis open and close parenthesis this function has self you call it as a block this is a self contained block which carries out a specific well defined task some defined task will be having in this particular block that you call it as a functions so what are the advantages of using these functions so first is the main use of this using the function is reusability reusability means that is a function may be used by many other programmers so once if you declare a function that function can be called by many other programmers that function you can save it in another files and a library files like that so and another advantage is the length of source program can be reduced so you can reduce the source program code every time you are writing the same function is it increasing the source program code the code of the program will be increasing so for that you can uh, write once a function and you can save that function in uh, one of the file so you just call the function name uh, it reduces the length of the source program and it is easy to locate it is easy to locate and isolate the fault function so any error is occur in the function you can it is easy to locate and isolate because that will be spe specified in a particular block so if you check only that block it will be uh, easy for the programmer to identify the fault and it facilitates it facilitates top down modular programming so the function is always follows the top down approach so this is about the a function definition and the advantages now let us see uh, function declarations function calls and function definition so how at a will be let us see that so let us see the c function declaration function calls and function definition so what is this function declaration function call and function definition what it represents so actually the function declaration is nothing but this informs it this informs to the compiler informs compiler about about the function name function parameters means how many arguments you are using and uh, return values return values of data type so that is about the functional declaration the function declaration always informs compiler about the function name function parameters and the return values the dot of data types then what will be the syntax for this 
function declaration. Just you have to write the return type. Return type and write the function name. And the argument list. So this informs the compiler about the return type. Return type, function name and function parameters that is a argument list. So that is about the function declaration. Now let us see what is this function call. Function call. This calls the actual function. So it always calls the actual function. Then what will be the syntax for this? Syntax of function call. So just it calls the actual function. So how it calls? With the help of function name. Function name. And here the argument list that is in the parameters that are present. So this is function calls. Now what is a function definition? Actually this contains, the function definition contains all the statements to execute. So in the, means this will be present uh, within the uh, braces. So that is a function definition you call. It contains all the statements to be executed then what will be the uh, syntax for this just you have to write the return type function name argument list within that you have to write the body of function close the parentheses so this you call it as a function definition function call and the function declaration Okay, let us see the simple program, then you will understand what is this uh, function definition, function call and the function declaration. Let me take the new page. So, writing the program here, a simple program, here the function should, the function should be declared, you have to be remembered, the function should be declared and defined before calling so without declare and without define you, you can't call the function so first you have to give the name suppose if you want to call any person how you will call with the help of his name you're just with the help of his name you're just calling that person by announcing the name so in the same way if you want to call a function it should be first declared and defined before calling in c program so, before calling in C program, first you have to be declared and defined. So, let me write the program for this. A simple program hash include stdio.h. Now, I am declaring the function. How I declare of data type float. The return value is a float data type. Square is the function name. And the argument list contains the data value of float x. Only one argument. So this represents the function prototype. Or else also called as function declaration. So first before calling in the C program you have to be defined and declared. So first I de uh, declared. So this is a declaration. I didn't define up to now. Only I declared. So this is the declaration. I am writing the main program. Float. I am taking two variables. M comma N. Printf. New line. Enter sum. Number. For. Finding square. Okay, so that value you have to enter from keyboard. So that should be read from the keyboard. So scanf percentile f because this is a float I have taken. Float ampersand m n comma m. So now I'm taking the calling the function n is equal to square of m. So this is function call. So, you have to declare, I have declared the function, but
but I didn't write the definition. So afterwards, I'll write the definition. So uh, after that, printf square of the given number f is percentile f m comma n. Close the main program. So up to now, uh, here it will be execute. So after that, n is equal to square of uh, square of m means the function call. So whenever it sees this statement, it jumps to that particular function outside the main program. So that function will be present inside or outside. It depends on. So it jumps from the outside the main program where I write the function definition. So float square so that I declared it float square float x so this is i already declared now i am writing the definition for that float p p is equal to x into x return p close the function so whenever i uh, this function n is equal to square of m means it jumps to this function call that is the square of m this is the square of m so the float data type so it uh, this is a definition you call it as a function definition this function definition is having all the executable code so here it takes the value of x that value that i entered from the keyboard and it multiply that value and return that value okay it return the value and that value will be print on the screen square of given number is m comma n so the given number and the uh, executed number then what will be the output here the output of this program is output so it's first it asking enter some number for finding square enter some number for finding square that will be print on the screen so that number you have to enter from keyboard so how you'll enter just you entered one number i entered two so after that it calls that function so now m is two that is a float x so here this is a, the two value it entered uh, means x is two it enters so at two into two it takes a four so the return value is the p p contains a four value so that again it after function call it continue with the main program so now it print square of given number is percentile to means 2.000 because it is a float is 4.0000 like that okay so this is how you will uh, write the function so this is a function declaration and the function definition okay thank you